as we're preparing for our next contestant, one of the really cool prizes for whoever comes in first for this particular competition is they get the opportunity to go forward to the regional competition, which will be held in April. And so that's at the Midwestern Association of Graduate Schools, and they'll be able to represent Missouri S&T. It could be any of our six contestants, including our next contestant, Justin Bouts, who's a PhD student in chemistry. Let's welcome Justin. Raise your hand if you've heard of cataracts before. Yeah, almost everybody's hand is raised. Everybody knows about cataracts. It's actually the leading cause of blindness worldwide. In fact, all of you are likely to get cataracts yourself if you live long enough. Why is that? Why do we have cataracts? Well, you see, the lens of our eyes is a lot in common with the, with the whites of an egg. They both are packed full of protein and they both start out clear. But when that egg hits a hot skillet, the heat from the pan causes the proteins in the egg to become damaged. When they're damaged, they're sticky, so they like to stick together and form aggregates. Eventually, those aggregates get so large that we can't see through them any longer. They form that opaque white color. The exact same thing is happening in all of your eyes right now at a slower rate. The main difference is instead of heat causing that damage, it's exposure to light from the sun and the very oxygen we breathe to survive. Now, I don't know about you, but for me personally, I'm not gonna limit my exposure to oxygen. So for many of us, cataracts are an inevitable outcome. So what will you do when you are faced with cataract? Right now, there's only one thing you really can do besides remain blind, and that is to have cataract surgery in which they remove your natural lens and replace it with an artificial one. But that's costly and invasive, and many of us won't be healthy enough to undergo the surgery by that time. But what if there was an alternative? Imagine if you could just take an eye drop to prevent or halt the progression of cataracts. How is something like this even possible? Well, this is the topic of my research. We're actually a lot closer to it than you might think. You see, there's a lot of compounds out there that are available that are effective at acting as sort of a bulletproof vest that can protect the proteins in your eye from the damage that leads to cataract. The main problem in our field right now is getting enough of the drug deep into the eye where the lens is. Our approach to circumventing this problem is using microscopic particles, nanoparticles, that have a surface that we can modify. So we've modified these particles so that they like to stick to the surface of the eye. These are gonna serve as reservoirs that can prolong the release throughout the day to the eye. This is really important because with most eye drops, 95% of the drug is immediately wasted in tears. But through our approach, we've seen more than 140% increase in the amount of drug that gets to the eye. Moving forward, we're looking for the most effective drug delivery vehicle so that in the future we're not forced to decide between blindness or a costly invasive surgery. Thank you.